I recently bought a wireless router from Xiaomi which was developed specifically for the Chinese market and it did spark a few debates whether it's dangerous to plug it into the modem. And that's because there have been some controversies over the use of backdoors either due to bad coding or for intentional spyware purposes. So, should you avoid anything that's not curated for the US market or is it just a political stance and the user should just use whatever it wants? And the answer is that it's complicated. Let's go over a brief history of vulnerability and backdoor detection over the last decade. I'm sure you heard about the Huawei drama on how they were pretty much driven out of the European and the US market. That happened because some networking hardware from Huawei had what was then called hidden backdoors, which could have exposed important data. These vulnerabilities were discovered between 2009 and 2011, but apparently continued to be a risk beyond 2012, as stated by The Verge. That's when the 5G era started to be a thing. This other story from 2020 from The Wired mentions a generalized fear that China could take advantage of its networking hardware installed worldwide and create major cybersecurity problems. And although it was a fairly vague statement, the sentiment caught on for the general public. The curious aspect that the article mentions is that the US National Security Agency has added technical backdoors into Cisco and Juniper Networks products and probably other enterprise level brands as well. But we'll talk more about it in a minute. D-Link is also not a stranger to this type of controversy, so although it stayed underneath the political radar. In 2013, BBC reports that some engineers discovered a backdoor in a few D-Link and PlanX routers. A bit later, we do know that botnets have specifically targeted all D-Link routers, and the Mirai botnet was particularly vicious, its newer variants targeting D-Link, Ares, Zyxel, TP-Link, Netgear and generally MediaTek devices. The idea behind this type of exploits is to use your router in a large-scale DDoS attack on a specific target. It can be national agencies, hospitals and the bad actors can also engage in even far worse endeavors. So what does Xiaomi have to do with all of this? Aces and TP-Link and other non-mainland China brands usually get away scot-free since they most likely have no ties with the Chinese government and Xiaomi is not one of them. But is there any proof about backdoors being present on Xiaomi routers? I could find some sources about backdoors being present on Xiaomi phones as seen here, but nothing about Xiaomi routers. They seem clean. Then again this article makes a very good point. If you buy a Chinese-based router made for their market, as I did with the B7000, you're not really protected by either the US or the EU laws. And I can confirm that I could only set the location of the router in mainland China and I could not use the DNS ports for other applications. They were always busy even if my tools said they are not. And it does show that indeed the default may be the mandatory data collection as stated by the Chinese government. But can we trust our own brands? It's yet another simple question with a very complicated answer. Some people argue that as long as it's the EU if you're European and if it's the US when you're American then the backdoors are fine since they can potentially protect you from threats and bad actors. The NSA has been trying to get backdoors normalized for a while now. But if you're in the security and privacy sector, well you know that things are never as they seem and it's far better if your private info remains private. Then again lots of our data is already being harvested by the big tech for ads and who's to say that they don't give it to the government agencies. Hint, they actually do. Can open source software save the day? Most likely yes, but it does depend on the situation. That's because there is more than one type of backdoor. It can be software based, in which case an open source OS such as the OpenWRT will close it and keep you safe and secure. But if the backdoor is at the hardware level, then there is pretty much nothing you can do about it. It's still wiser to get a router that supports some type of open source software because silicon level backdoors are less common than you think, while most vulnerabilities show their ugly heads by checking cracks in the software. We have been talking about routers, but did you know that the smart and IoT devices in general are significantly more dangerous? Instead of waking up the wrath of a nation by adding backdoors into routers, it's far simpler to exploit those so-called smart devices where the security measures are almost always subpar. The amount of electronic devices that currently demand the connection to the internet is incredibly high. And the software is almost always proprietary, which means that you are at the mercy of the manufacturer to keep your data that they always collect secure and to support the software for many years. This almost never happens. Which is why VLANs and at least some form of network isolation is very important for home routers. 
Ideally, you should also steer clear of cloud-based platforms if you don't trust the manufacturer because your data may be exposed after a breach. And these breaches do happen a lot more often than you may think. And yes, it can happen to the bigger players as well. The conclusion is that we can easily be caught between some political war, so it's best to do our due diligence and make sure that we protect ourselves from bad actors, regardless if they are domestic or outsiders. Do let me know what your opinions are in regards to this sensitive subject in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.